Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Khan, also known as Jedi Jester, and today we are going to take a look at the new formation and tactic system that FIFA 22 offers. With this year's game, FIFA offers much more freedom in terms of adjusting your team stands on the pitch. The most significant change is about how we set the width and depth of both defensive and offensive lines. Previous titles offered a scale from 1 to 10 bars in terms of adjustment, but with the new game, the scale has gone much wider, and now you can choose a number between 1 and 100, which gives you a lot of options. For example, if you were having a hard time choosing between 3 and 4 bars in your defense, now you can go for the number 35 to find the perfect balance in between. Now let's take a look at the defensive and the offensive styles. The offensive style is much more detailed and it's divided into two sections with the new game. Each section is effective at one side of the pitch and should be analyzed carefully. The first section which is called build up play defines the way you get out of your own half and how fast you do it. A balanced build up allows your team to maintain its formation. Your players will support and make runs when they think it's the right time to do so. So that means this option heavily relies on the player you use and the AI itself. With the slow build-up tactic, your players will support each other more in the attacking build-up rather than going on forward runs. With the provided support, you can go for a short passing game, but then the build-up will require more time. Fast build-up, however, pushes your players forward for a faster build-up, as its name suggests. You will see your players go faster all around the pitch, and this will speed up your build-up. Since you will do every mechanic faster with this tactic, the margin of error will increase accordingly. You need to make sure you don't lose the ball during the build-up in order to avoid an unnecessary counter-attack. With long ball tactic, your team will make runs for long balls into space behind the opposing back line. Most significantly, you will see your strikers and the wingers running towards forward to receive the ball. The second section, chance creation, is a completely new one. This will define how your players behave offensively once you cross the midfield line and find yourself in the opponent's half. Balance is again used for a balance attacking buildup in which players will offer support and make runs when they think it's the right time to do so. Possession is the option where you hold on to the ball and play a strong short passing game to patiently wait for the chance to attack. Non-selected AI players will provide more close support to the dribbler rather than going on forward runs. That means they will rarely create chances by going in behind the defensive line. Direct passing allows your players to create chances by making runs into the space once you enter the attacking zone. Since the players will go for occasional runs in your offense, it is important to have at least one striker with a high attacking positioning attribute. In this tactic, the AI player will adjust his run according to the position and the angle of your currently selected player. Last but not least, the tactic forward runs pushes your players forward deep into the attacking areas. Your players will be throwing themselves forward, making runs regardless of your currently selected player. That's why you could find yourself vulnerable to dangerous counterattacks if you lose the ball while building up. With the new system, the attacking tactics can be set to 16 different combinations. Depending on how you wish to play the game, you can choose the most optimal combination for yourself. If you want to have a dominant presence while having a slower approach, in which you build up nice and slowly, you can go for the combination of slow build-up and possession, or if you want to play with more counter-attacks, you can go for the combination of long ball and direct passing. Another example could be the fast build-up and forward runs combination if you find yourself thrilling in the 75th minute of a match and urgently need a goal. It is all up to you and how you want to react to the current state of an ongoing match. Before diving deeper into the tactics, I just want to remind you, if you're looking to get a better experience by improving your gameplay and achieve higher ranks in division rivals and foot champions, then definitely check our brand new The Guide Plus application, which is launching in the upcoming days and is completely free to use for the entire month of October. On The Guide Plus, we provide weekly articles and videos with the most recent meta gameplay tips, featuring FIFA Ultimate Team content, tactics and information guides, as well as mentality aspect and the recent edition of our trading tips. On the app, you can easily navigate between the categories to be able to find the sections on the things you are mostly interested in. You can also check out the courses section to access our structured guides while tracking your progress and earn badges for completing lessons. We prepare various special quiz types to help you test your knowledge and increase your learning efficiency. Everything you need to improve your FIFA gameplay, all gathered in one place. Download our The Guide Plus app for free and see the difference for yourself. The defensive style remains the same with balanced, pressure on heavy touch, press after possession loss, constant pressure, and drop back. Balanced is a style where your team presses the ball to the middle of the pitch. Your team doesn't react extra to any particular event and their shape remains neutral. 
Pressure on heavy touch allows your team to pressure the opposition whenever the opportunity shows itself. This opportunity could be a difficult pass or a loose ball. This style is designed to punish the opposition's bad touches on the ball and mistakes. But be aware, even though this style sounds good, it can drain a lot of stamina. Pressure after possession loss lives up to its name. Your players will press the ball after losing it for 5 to 10 seconds. This could also drain a lot of stamina and since your players rush towards the opposition, they could be out of their positions and leave huge gaps for the opponent. Constant pressure is basically putting the pressure consistently with everything you have. Most of your players will push forward and confront the opposition players to be able to reclaim possession. But in the meanwhile, they become increasingly fatigued and that totally destroys the defensive structure. If you use this tactic, expect huge gaps in your defensive line. You should only use this style in the last 10 to 15 minutes of a game if you are behind in the scoreline. And finally, drop back. This tactic will preserve your team's shape and your defensive won't try to pressure at all. This allows your opponent to have more possession and space towards your goal. Now let's take a look at the instructions. The new defensive instructions to specific players have a significant impact on how defenders position themselves both in offense and defense. Free roam instruction for CDM allows for a deep-lying playmaker role. This will allow you to have a semi-box-to-box -box player whose actual role is defending. However, this could also create an unwanted situation for the opposition counterattacks since the player will also drop down deeper to receive a pass during the buildup. The step-up instruction for center backs and full backs can make those players run out of their position in order to mark opposition attackers when they are free to receive a ball. This instruction could be very useful for pressuring, however, it could also open your backyard to your opposition. That means your defensive line will be much more vulnerable to those players who are making consistent runs in behind the defensive line. The overlap instruction for center backs allow the center back to overlap wide and provide attacking support to teammates. This instruction is only usable while playing either a 3 or 5 defender formation. Like we've mentioned before, these changes and new additions will provide more freedom both for offense and defense. Remember, you are allowed to have 5 different sets of formations and tactics during the game, including the starting one. Make sure to have different approaches suitable for different scenarios. You could simply switch between them by pressing left and right digital arrow keys on the left side of your controller. So that's it for today's video. Now I want to ask you which tactical combinations you think will be the strongest compared to the others. You can simply mention them in the comment section below. We really hope this video gives you a clear idea on the new tactical system before you get your hands on the full version on 27th September. If so, feel free to drop a like. As the guide team, we will be exploring every single aspect throughout the FIFA 22 journey, so make sure you subscribe to our channel and don't miss any upcoming videos. I'll talk to you on the next video. Until then, take care and goodbye.